What's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to a Sunday. It is the Earth Master out here once again, about 2 p.m. here, California time on this beautiful Sunday. With an update on a large earthquake striking out here around the Tonga Trench, a 6.6 .6 earthquake striking here just moments ago, pretty deep, about 157 kilometers deep. Now, over the last week or so, we've seen a lot of deep activity here triggered into the subduction zone itself of the Tonga Trench. Yesterday, seen a 6.3. I said to watch this area due to the bouncing back and forth effect that's been going on here between deep activity and shallower large activity here along the plate boundary. And sure enough, we get a larger event coming in here within the last minutes, uh, within the last few minutes. Uh, it has been reviewed by a seismologist, so it should stand as a 6.6 .6 at about 157 kilometers deep. Uh, it looks like just barely seen uh, a little bit of the S waves there on the New Zealand station. I really don't have anything specifically in the Tonga area to monitor the seismic activity, but it does look like it's picking it up. Also some movement happening there in Hawaii. So we'll continue to keep an eye here on the very active Pacific plate uh, as things are uh, kind of picking up out here in the last couple days. Deep activity followed up here by some surface adjustment taking place. Although this one here, it's still somewhat deep here, 157 kilometers into that subduction zone, uh, but not quite as deep as these other quakes there, around 600 kilometers or so that we've seen yesterday and a couple more today. Notice how this uh, earthquake is just up north or just another earthquake coming in, uh, just due upstream here from that deeper activity today. Uh, so obviously it looks like there has been enough strain up here to produce that 6.6 .6 right now. No tsunami, uh, but we'll double check that. Uh, no tsunami warning, advisory watch, or threat. All right. By the way, they did add a moderate risk for today's severe weather out here due to the potential of some stronger wind activity out here from these thunderstorms. Also got a huge tornado threat as well. If you're out there in this region of the country today, Please take heed and watch the skies above you, around you. Keep a weather radar app on so you can watch what's going on, what's popping up, what's coming towards you. And there you can make your um, uh, decision making on what to do uh, in terms of getting out and away from the hazard that could be in the region. So, all right, folks, stay safe out there. Enjoy your Sunday three-day weekend out there. Uh, we'll keep an eye on the earthquake activity. Notice, though, let's see here. I need to bring this back just a little bit to show yesterday's quake. Um, yeah, that's just bouncing, bouncing back and forth here. We'll definitely keep an eye on this plate boundary. Uh, ultimately though, all this momentum and pressure should transfer a little bit further along the plate boundary, somewhat absent of earthquake activity here around the, uh, well, the Vanuatu earthquake is yesterday, 6.3, but roughly along this plate boundary around the Solomon Islands area might need to be watched for some movement today. We'll be here on the side, on the live stream, watching the activity and uh, providing updates out here should they uh, be needed. Have a good day. We'll catch you guys back out here later tonight for the Sunday night update. Please subscribe and make sure you click that like button while you're here. Thank you.